Hey guys, it's me, Leo Currently. Leo Currently. Um, yeah, my latest video it might be blocked in some countries just because of some copyright issues. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to monetize off of it. Yeah. So let's get on with the highlights. The shopping task for this week is um, to receive luxury. Housemates must follow random events that are just going to happen in the house. If one even one housemate doesn't follow the random event, then the then the whole house will get reactions. So they just have to go along with whatever happens. First task is an early morning spin class. Darren and Stephanie are exempt due to medical reasons. Spinning the spinning instructor com, like wakes up, comes into the bedroom and gets onto the bikes. Gemma is still asleep. Gemma will not do it. Housemates try to get Gemma off the, her bed. Gemma is still asleep. Megan said that she hates spinning, but she really wants the luxury food. Christopher, Jeremy, and Daniela talk about failing this shopping task because of Gemma right after they finish it, finish the spinning class. Megan lent Stephanie her track suit begrudging, reluctantly. Because, yeah, it was a brand new tracksuit for Steph, for Megan. So, yeah. Gemma in the diary room, she said that she doesn't want to play any more tasks. She wants to do her normal life. I want to know how Gemma will feel when she's on rations, because she's never been on rations yet. She's cried over her extensions, she, because they're apparently fried. She expects Channel 5 and Endemol to pay for her new, fresh, blonde version weft extensions. She wants hot rollers and not straighteners, because straighteners are for peasants, according to her. She will not perform anymore, is what she said. While Megan takes a nap, Jeremy and Megan hide the housemates' shoes around the bedroom. Stephanie keeps on playing pranks now, toothpaste in Jeremy's hair. T Jeremy found out, and Jeremy threw Stephanie in the pool, and Steph is still wearing Megan's tracksuit. The second task is make Tiffany and Christopher have to go along with hosting a wildlife show. There are facts on the teleprompter that are fake, and some of the script is left blank. Christopher and Tiffany must fill in the blanks with housemates' names. There was a real-life snake and a real-life tarantula that came into the house. Christopher wanted the tarantula off of him. And then the Britney Spears snake shows up. You know, the same... It was the same constrictor that Britney Spears wore at the VMAs in 2000. During I'm a Slave for You. Tiffany refused to touch the snake, but then she pets it. Gemma is pissed because Christopher said her name as being shallow. She didn't get pissed when Tiffany said her name when it was like the most fakest housemate, but yeah. Fifteen minutes after the task, Gemma wants to speak to Christopher, and they do it in the bathroom, and, Chris, and Gemma's like, stop slagging me off, stop using my name. And that could constitute as bullying, but Gemma says, don't use bullying around, the word bullying around me. Megan is angry because she found her tracksuit in a pile, wet in a pile in the corner of the wardrobe area. Megan declares that no housemates are to touch her shit anymore. Stephanie goes into the diary room, and then I'll, I just want to list off Megan's tantrums so far in the fucking cows, because this is fucking hilarious. First was food, next was John's attitude towards Tiffany, and then the third one was Stephanie borrowing and not taking care of her clothes. Like, Stephanie borrowing Megan's clothes and Stephanie not taking care of her own shit. Megan doesn't want Jeremy to take care of Stephanie's things and wants Stephanie to take care of, clean up after her own damn self. John is helping 
Gemma spread eagle out on her bed, and I think she might have torn her designer vagina when she did the splits in the bedroom. The third task is that Jeremy must babysit two fake home ec economics <laughs> Flammy planning dolls. And I was, I couldn't wait until they fucking cried. Because you can't even stop those dolls from fucking crying. Daniela found Jeremy's shoe under her pillows and Daniela is pissed because that, because the bedroom is like a gross ground and shit like that. The dolls are cr start crying and now Gemma's Dolce and Gabbana shoes were removed and I was just like, oh my god, the shells! The shells! After 90 minutes, Jeremy is finished with babysitting. Megan and Stephanie clear the air. Daniela is sick and tired of Stephanie leaving messes in the bedroom. And Daniela said that she has been homeless before. And if Daniela speaks to Stephanie, like, right after she leaves that diary room, then it would be an explosion. Which is true. Megan doesn't want Jeremy to take care of Stephanie. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> See? And then the housemates speculate a new arrival. We think, and the out, out here is probably going to be Sam Reese, Stephanie's boyfriend. And Stephanie wants it to be her boyfriend. Stephanie finally realized that she substituted Jeremy for Sam. And now she's like, oh my god, I shouldn't be speaking about my boyfriend in the house then. Or something like that. Megan gives Jeremy the reality check. It, saying that Stephanie will go back to her boyfriend and Jeremy will totes be rejected. Totes death be rejected. And the house is talking about Stephanie. Stephanie is listening to Jeremy while Jeremy is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. Because Jeremy is just like, I feel like a fool and shit like that. And I just want to cut things off with Stephanie before it gets worse. Stephanie does overhear what Jeremy said in the diary room. And Stephanie wants like a cuddle and a hug from Jeremy and wants to talk to Jeremy. But Jeremy doesn't want to talk to Stephanie until the next morning. And Stephanie is still putting blame on Big Brother on all the shit. Some exclusives. Gemma keeps telling housemates to stop using bullying to her, her name and make sure that housemates aren't slagging her off. And then Christopher finally will get his balls on tonight's highlights. I Angie said that she was, she was going to write a book about her experiences in the house. A fiction book, and I can't wait. Especially the audiobook, because she's gonna be like, Suck my big one! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> and Angie did say that the only people that she interacts with are like her pets and her own, and her current husband, out, like when she's outside of the house. She, and then speaking about, like, what happened with, when, when, uh, Tiffany thought David Gessa died and shit, she called herself a moron because she didn't, like, clarify which David died. Angie originally thought, like, she wanted a woman to win because of, like, feminism and shit, but in reality, since she's lived in that house, she thought to herself that me, maybe Darren or Scotty T would win. Some more exclusives. Stephanie and Jeremy try to clear the air, but it's hashtag ox. Megan and Scotty T finally get to snuggle with each other in bed. And Gemma thinks she's preggers. And I'm just like saying, we need a pregnancy test. We need a pregnancy test. Because you have to have sex to have a baby. Or you have to be... You have to have sex in the house at least to have a baby. Or... Before you went in the house. So, yeah. Angie reveals that Jeremy was smarter than Stephanie, but Stephanie got him whipped. And my three that I think might be evicted are between John, Gemma, and Stephanie tonight. And if somebody got evicted, there was a poll on the Big Brother UK website. And the UK public would really miss Gemma the most if she got evicted. So, um, catch me up tomorrow where I talk about who gets evicted and stuff like that and the highlights. Maybe Chris finally gets his balls and just says, Gemma, I've had enough of your bullshit.
Even though I love Gemma's bullshit because it's just hilarious. Like, if I lived in that house with Gemma Collins, I think I would kill myself. But if I were... But as a viewer, I love that how fucking hilarious Gemma Collins is. And she's like, I'm giving you entertainment. I'm going to perform for you. And shit like that. Okay, so um, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.